Alright, so today I thought I'd take you through a chill as I'm push up workout. Uh, all my sets and all my reps are recorded, so um, it'll be a little bit of a longer video, but hopefully it has some insight. So I started out with a warm up, uh, just warming up my wrists as always, um, some circles just to get my wrists really warmed up. That's very important to me, just to make sure I don't get injured. And then a little bit of a scapula activation just to make sure the handstand um, is warmed up for you know, the scapula is warmed up for the handstand. Then I'm doing um, some stretching, um, a little bit of active stretching, and uh, opening up my shoulders basically for the handstand push-up movement. Right, the last part of my warm-up, I do one handstand hold. Uh, just to make sure everything is warmed up for the handstand push-up negative attempts because it's a um, Thursday session. So I do negative in attempts instead of um, handstand push-up against the wall. And I just try to go very slow on the decentric and pause in the 90 degrees. So I always struggle to decide if I want to start with handstand push-up negatives or if I want to start with pike floats. But um, today I decided to try pike floats first because they're both almost exactly as difficult and I want to start with the most strenuous activity first. So I went for pike floats first. But as you can see, um, it was not a good idea because um, I really need a little bit more warm up time um, by doing hands up push up negatives to then do pike floats. And as you can see here, I was not in a posterior pelvic tilt and I just fell down because I wasn't far, my body wasn't straight enough and it wasn't far enough um, to the left. All right, so I decided to not do the pike floats first and I went for high side push ups, uh, negatives first. And uh, with this set, I was really trying to concentrate on the um, posterior pelvic tilt during the whole movement, uh, the whole negative and um, to pause at the 90 degrees. But I was kind of frustrated at myself because I didn't actually do any stopping or I, I didn't try to um, prevent the motion. It was more of a fall than it was a, a negative, a controlled negative. And so this set, I was um, quite frustrated at myself for it. Uh, there, it was a little bit better, um, but still, it wasn't um, good enough. And it wasn't like I was actually trying hard enough. I just sometimes I really need to remind myself of the fact that I need to um, control the negative instead of just letting it flop and think that I'm actually progressing that way. Um, but I was, uh, well, there you go. <laughs> sometimes you fail the kick up because it's just uh, too many kick ups in a row because it's always negatives and uh, you get kind of tired. And uh, I kind of need, well, uh, yeah, why I need that pillow there. It looks stupid, but basically it's because my knees keep hitting the ground and um, it does after it, see, there you go. It does after a while, it does hurt. So I have to make sure to not, uh, to have a little bit of a cushion so my knees don't get hurt. Or... So for this set, I really tried to correct my form. And um, in this first handstand push-up, I go down quite slowly, so I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, but the problem is my elbows are too far um, to the right, so they're slanted too far to the right, which means um, it's not the correct movement and my balance fails and I fall. But this one, um, this handstand push-up actually does um, very well. So my, hands and my elbows are more 90 degrees to the parallax. Um, and what well, are straight in line with the parallettes and then my body was 90 degrees and I held it so I was quite happy with that one and my next one this one was also good uh, but I figured uh, usually I went for I have to go for like three to six reps but um, I was I was saying that I should go for three and really try and maintain a very good form or uh, try try to make it a stressful exercise. And if I can't, if I can do three, then I'll be happy. Three good ones is better than six bad ones. So for this session, I actually had to wake up at <laughs> I had to wake up at six a.m. today to do the session, which was actually quite uh, it was quite nice. It was enjoyable. Um, it was nice and sunny out. It wasn't too cold. And uh, I woke up at six because I had to get to uh, my first day of work at ten a.m. 
and um, it wasn't too long a shift, but uh, it was my first day, so it was actually quite fun. It was just moving, uh, moving stuff around and like that kind of stuff and carrying things. Uh, no, but it was fun. So I'm basically I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, save up a little bit of money to get a calisthenics um, trainer certificate. Um, or to get the course to, to then become a, cert a certified trainer while studying with uh, it takes like six months to study uh, but I think I figure it would be a good development in my calisthenics journey all right here we go with the pipe floats um, so essentially I just try and controlled go up controlled and then this problem this is the part where is the problem because the second I put my legs all the way up straight my hips uh, move inward and I think that's the issue where I keep falling down. Um, so the problem with uh, working out at home, I mean, I've got everything I need, basically. <coughs> But the problem is I do have to move around. So upstairs is the only place I can do handstand push-ups um, where I have a wall to put my feet on. And then downstairs here in um, the garden bit, uh, I get to do my um, my military press, everything that involves weights and uh, rings, and essentially. So uh, I did 52 kilos and uh, sets of three. So this was my first set, and it was really quite, uh, I was quite happy with it. Um, because I've never uh, pressed 52, but the problem was I didn't have ones, um, like weights, with one kilo weights, so I had to do two kilo weights, so it pushed me to go, because I, I think 48 is the first increment, and then 52 is the next increment, I can't go to 50, so I had to go to 52, so I was still happy I got three reps, and um, so this next one, obviously, I only got two, um, and then I decided to drop the weight to 48 kg for the last um, set because I don't want to go below uh, three reps, essentially. So one thing I realized during this um, handstand push-up workout is the importance of these pipe push-ups. And I really am not good at pipe push-ups but um, they're really effective and I haven't been using them to their maximum. So um, maximum benefit. Um, so basically I need to really make sure to uh, move in that, in that vertical plane instead of moving um, into the pipe push-up and then move um, like outward. It has to be fully straight up and down essentially, um, which, uh, well, with as, as minimal a, a, a degree of movement as possible uh, because that's where the pipe push-ups are actually most effective in targeting the shoulders, I think. And I still need to work on my depth as well, but it's quite hard to perceive that when you're in the, in, in the pipe push-up. So you can actually, it's good to film yourself to actually see how far down you go. And I can see that I need to go a little bit further down. It gets kind of scary at the end of the pipe push-ups because your shoulders are like fatigued at that point and your legs try and compensate by, um, instead of keeping straight, they bend uh, to try and, I guess, move backwards and make the movement a little bit easier. So I always have to intentionally try and prevent that, but it's very much like a reflex. But um, I'm, I'm really trying to intentionally make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, Although, you know, when you fall, you hopefully, you hopefully use your legs to prevent yourself from falling right in the face. So, although at the end it is quite bad form, I'm really just trying to tire out the muscle and um, get as much um, worth as possible out of that. Um, so, I just keep doing the, uh, the pipe, uh, pipe push-ups. And my, um, you, you can tell my uh, shoulders are quite tired of it right now anyway, so I kind of failed the last rep. Uh, but then we move on to uh, one of the last exercises, which is close grip bench press. But um, I can't do close grip bench press here because I tried it and my bench press is um, a, little bit, um, a little bit iffy. It's a little bit scary, so I was like, okay, we'll leave it. 
uh, we might not do bench press while I'm back in Germany. Um, so I thought, what's close to that? And uh, it seems as though this is quite, I think this is quite effective for it. So we're doing ring push-ups, uh, close grip ring push-ups uh, with 25 kg. And um, it's, uh, it was quite an effective exercise. I hadn't done ring push-ups in a while, but it was really uh, enjoyable. And I think that's a good, it's a great transfer to, um, to bench because it, it just simulates it. But obviously I'm not, uh, I'm doing calisthenics. So I'm only using bench to do calisthenics exercises. So if I can use a calisthenics exercise to get the same benefits as I do a weighted exercise, I'll do that. And so I think I'll be implementing these more often. So um, this didn't, so I've got a little bit of an injury between my chest and my shoulder and, and on, on the right side and it's been like that. It's, it's, um, I've had the injury for I think two weeks now and it's really quite frustrating but I've been trying to work through it and seeing if it's gotten any better. And it does get better and I feel no pain in, in certain exercises but only really specific exercises do I feel the pain. And uh, specifically in this close grip um, ring push-ups I didn't feel it that much but I felt it creeping up and then I went for because I had to go for a wider grip uh, push-ups uh, so I only went to 10 kg and I thought that would be fine but the second I did these wider push-ups I really did feel the pain and I think I have to go ch get it checked out because it hasn't been improving and usually these kind of things improve in a couple of days but as you can see, I don't do full ROM and it's just terrible. So I had to stop this because um, it was hurting and uh, I'll have to go check it out because I don't know what it is, but it's really annoying me. And as you can see, yeah, that's where it is. And uh, it's really annoying me and it's preventing me from training. But uh, yeah, it's, it is what it is, but I'll have to see if I can get it fixed soon. Uh, otherwise, yeah, so, well, I did some rotator cuff stuff just to see exactly where the pain is, and I can kind of really pinpoint it. Um, so yeah, that was my training, and my Thursday training, so if you liked it, uh, let me know. It's a little bit more chill, a little bit less edited, very, just, you know, just exactly how I train, and I just showed you my full sets. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, let me know. I'll do more of these. I actually quite like doing these ones more than the, the quick stuff, the um, packing a whole week into a video. This was just one day, so hope you enjoyed.